Gentlemen, what was that you said about bricklayers? So they're a bunch of lilies, are they? Hey, wait a minute, what are you guys trying to pull? Yeah, here? what is this? Sure, and you'd better be taken back what you said about the Irish too. We haven't said anything about anybody. Never no. you mind, we heard what you said. What's the matter, lads? These two guys are making cracks about Irish bricklayers. Mm. Telling me that one Irishman can lick ten Irishmen. Yeah, he did. Yeah. You wouldn't want to be proven that, would you? You're not getting away from me, you. Oh, tough, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Wasn't that beautiful? Magnificent. Finnegan out of town tonight without anybody seeing him, I'll have Joe just where I want him. But suppose if Finnegan don't want to go. Well, it's up to us to make him. He's got to leave Cody tonight. Well, he can't go like this. We got to bring him to first. Has he breathing? <laughs> Either he's breathing or he just had an alcohol rub. Get his head up. <laughs> I thought that'd bring him around. There you are. Easy now. Don't, don't let him swallow the glass. It's the only one we got. You better? <laughs> ah, the upper half of Finnegan is fully recovered. Uh, however, the lower extremities are still in a coma. Perhaps another drink. You had us worried. Ah, oh, Frankie, me boy, you can't kill the Irish. They just have to wear out like a pair of pants. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, there, I feel like myself again. Now, wait, wait a minute, Finnegan. You're hurt a lot worse than you think you are. Yeah, and the only way for you to get better is to take it easy for a month or so. Sure, go away someplace. Buy yourself and relax. Someplace like uh, Atlantic City. Now I know you haven't got any money, so... I don't have to go anywhere. I tell you, boys, there's nothing wrong with ah, me. Ah, but the doctor thinks different. The doctor? Yeah. yeah, while you were unconscious, we had the doctor up here to examine you. Two doctors. They had a consultation. Yeah, they said you've, uh, you've got cranium contusions. Contu contusions? What's that? Mm, your cranium don't contuse. Uh, you see this thing here? What did the doctor call it? The celebrium. The celebrium is supposed to come around here, join these things up here, then it meets the macavinities. Then it crosses up here to this thing here. Do you understand? Uh, well, yours doesn't. Uh, and rest is the only cure. Cure? Ah, if an Irishman had to rest every time he was hit on the head, none of them would be finding time to go to work. I tell you, boys, I feel perfectly all... Do you feel things sway in a bit? No. Do you, Eddie? No. I'm beginning to feel a bit dizzy. That's what the doctor said. That's the first sign. Tell me, Finnegan, does it hurt you here? Right here. Well, answer me. Does it hurt you here? Yes! Now that you mention it, it does. Oh, let me feel your pulse. 
there you are. That's what the doctors were afraid of. He's lost all control of his hands. Isn't that a shame? Can you imagine the go... How's your throat? Kind of parched? Uh, Look at that skin. <clears throat> it's all pudgy. There's no life to it. Bang. Look at those eyes. Bloodshot. Can you breathe all right? Kind of tight, huh? I can't breathe. Can you feel this? Can you feel the slap? Can you feel it? No. He's numb. That's ah, too bad, Finnegan. Uh, too bad. Yes, it's a shame. It's a shame. But uh, the doctor said you had nothing to worry about until you start getting cold flashes. Where? Right here at the back of your neck. Snaggy, I got him. I'm freezing. Then come on, Finnegan. We haven't got any time to waste. We got to get you on a train. Uh, get me my hat. All right. Get me an overcoat. Glory be, I was never so cold in my life. Don't worry. A month in Atlantic City will make a new man out of you. It's getting colder and colder. All right, watch it now. Take it easy. <laughs> And I got 80 kings. Hold it. We're getting closer. 